<laughs> there's a there's a company that goes to Ekasi. It's it's funded by one of the big four banks. They go to Ekasi. They come to you. They look at your house mm. and they say, okay, it's a koneni. Uh, they go and get a plan and they submit the plan for you. The municipality approves the plan for you and they come and they build for you Magnega Zama room and then they take their collection for a period of five years you pay them and then you can own that thing uh, going forward. Jeez. They're and doing... and Yazi, already in my head, because we speak about business a lot, yeah. already in my head I'm thinking running property is tough. It you is. and I both know. It is. It's very difficult. Yes. Number one, they don't need to own the assets. It's your asset. It's, it's your, your asset. It's your house. Number two, they are, because of economies of scale, they're going to go and get their friends to approve this, this, yes, this very quickly. Yes, yes. Build, and then they're going to own the database of tenants. Exactly. And then they're going to manage these tenants. And then they're going to say, it's yours. Number one, are you going to be able to access the quality of tenants they have? Be able to do the verifications and the credits and the things they do, manage them. You're going to beg them. Yes. Please carry on. Carry on. Please carry on. And you know, when I speak to this guy, he says, in that business model, what makes most of the money is the app, the rent collection app. Because every time somebody pays the rent via their app, there's a money, there's a certain percentage of the payment charge. that they charge. And that thing is continuously. Hmm. That thing is continuously. And look, I don't want to collect rent. If the rent comes to me, via app and I get the message that so-and-so is paid and this thing does all the magic, at the end of the month it says 90% of your rentals are in. You're happy. I'm happy. They've taken away stress. <laughs>